most California sheriffs, they don't like the sanctuary state law signed by Governor Jerry Brown last month. Now those same sheriffs have to enforce it come January 1st. Let's bring in Fres Fresno County California Sheriff Margaret Mims. Good to see you, Sheriff. Hello. So we're hearing there was uh, some sheriffs in your state. There were not, some were not cooperating. Some were cooperating. You went full bore. You said we've got to help the federal government uh, help ICE apprehend illegal immigrants and illegal criminals. Why did you go full bore on it? Well, it made sense to me that we cooperate with ICE so that they can do their jobs in a safe, controlled environment when people get booked into our jails. Uh, now, unfortunately, because of the passage of the Senate bill, we are prohibited from working with ICE for certain offenses. And in fact, we're prohibited from allowing ICE to use some of our databases like other law enforcement agencies do. So I'm very concerned about the precedent this, this sets, because what's next? Are they going to prohibit us from talking to the DEA or the FBI? Uh, law enforcement agencies at all levels need to be able to communicate. You know, Sheriff, we've had many victims' families come on. They say it is an outrage and a disgrace that this mm -hmm. law and order issue has been politicized. It's about saving lives. That's what you've been talking about. Earlier this week, we had Marianne Mendoza on the show. Her son was killed by an illegal immigrant in a sanctuary city. Let's roll tape. Let's listen to what Marianne Mendoza had to say. It's not a joke of what's happening to their fellow Americans. Hundreds of thousands of their fellow Americans are affected by illegal crime on, on a yearly basis. Um, if, if one of their family members were affected, like, like some of ours have been, killed, um, assaulted, whatnot, I think they would understand the issue a little better. Sheriff, will California's sanctuary state law enable more illegal criminals to stay in the state and in the country? Are you worried about that? I am absolutely worried about that. That's why we're pushing back on this, uh, because it's very important, of course, when you're in law enforcement, the, my priority is to keep my community safe. Now, remember, we're not talking about immigrants that are here, that are working hard, that aren't committing crimes, that aren't getting booked into the jail. We're talking about people that actually get arrested and booked, and we're prohibited from speaking to ICE about them. That just flies in the face of good public safety service. The creators of the adult party game, it's called Cards Against Humanity, bought acres of land on the U.S.-Mexico border to stop President Trump from building the wall. What would you say to them now? That just seems like an obnoxious move by the makers of a, uh, an offensive uh, card game. Uh, so that it's, it's just offensive. And remember, they are keeping our federal government, our hard working men and women who are trying to keep out terrorists, transnational gang members, and drug traffickers. They're trying to stop them from doing their very noble work. And it's just not right. Uh, now look, the federal government has been involved in building everything from post offices to military bases. Uh, this move is not going to stop them from, from doing what they need to do. Are you going to continue to cooperate with ICE agents from the federal government? I'm going to continue to cooperate with ICE to the level the law allows me to. As sheriff, I cannot violate the law. So I will continue to work with ICE as much as I can, allowable by the law. Uh, we're, we're going to figure out ways that we can communicate to maximize our ability to keep our citizens safe. Uh, but I have to obey the law. Understood. Sheriff Margaret Mims, we love having you on. Come back soon. And thank you so much for your service to our country. We really appreciate you. Uh, thank you.